Greetings everybody, Fu here with part 3 Bravo. We're going to continue with the biceps and uh, I got the light situation. Alright, I um, went ahead and glued the shims onto the first side here. Um, that's a prototype pull so the, uh, the lines are, are still working. But uh, you can see here, I finished up one of the biceps and you want your lines to, to match up like so. And now you, I purposely left a little gap in this one. Uh, and there's glue squeezed out just to show you that a lot can be cleaned up in post-production. So th this gap here, not a problem. We're going to fill that in with DevCon later. Um, I don't do Bondo on anything anymore. It's fragile and Bondo was meant to go on you know, auto body parts and, and not move. Armor is going to be banged around a lot more. So I use DevCon so that it stays, stays harder than the plastic that you're filling in around it. Anyway, so you're going to shim out both sides. And if you look, it's going to follow that last angle. Well, we've got to curve back this way to get onto the front piece. So, using my trusty heat gun from Harbor Freight I got for 10 bucks, um, we're going to very carefully heat up this plastic. Now, DevCon does have a weakness, and it is heat. So, what we want to do is put your clamps on there and make sure that you're using your clamps with the strongest grip. If you've got loose ones, don't use them for this part. You want to get it all the way up to the edge. And then um, we're going to take the heat gun, put it on the low setting. And you want to keep it moving. Not too fast, but you want to slowly just hit one side, hit the inside. And because there's not a lot of fan blowing, you're not going to feel like it's doing anything. But this is actually really hot on the other end. So, I usually count to about 10 on each side, turn it off, and then real quick, I want to go ahead and try and, and bend it. I uh, push it against an edge, and I got a little bit of bend to it, and we'll do it again. It's better to take your time and go in slow increments than to get it too hot, and then your ABS will actually melt, and that's a bad thing. Uh, one way you know it's ready, the corner will start to curl a little bit, or you'll see a little bit of deformation. That's also a good time to go ahead, or you can just take a you know, pencil or something so you get a uniform edge and slowly bend it in, putting continual pressure on it, and then let it cool off. And then you're going to go ahead and, and check your line. And you'll see that uh, we got a little bit of curve there, and that's probably good enough. So we're going to do the same thing to the other side. Uh, once we've heated all that, we're going to go ahead and use the DevCon on the shim side. Um, you're going to goop it up, and you want to have a lot near the edge here. We want it to come up through the crack, because that will actually be our filling agent. So we're going to DevCon that. You go ahead and make sure you got your um, your bottom trapezoid so that when it curves, you got the bottom and then it curves up. Those are the two things you're going to look for there. Do both sides, DevCon both sides, and then obviously move your clamps onto the the new side to hold the glue on. Let the DevCon sit for 12 hours. Um, well, 8 to 12 hours, and then go ahead and pull the clamps off, but don't do anything else with the material. I give it a full 24 hours to cure, but the clamps aren't doing anything after the first 8 hours or so. So those are the biceps, and again, we're going to fill in those gaps with DevCon. Uh, I know we're going to go through a lot of glue, and it's not the cheap stuff in the world, but you'll be happy with the end product because it's, it the plastic will break before the glue will in most cases. So uh, stock up on your, on your glue, make sure you use it in a well-ventilated area, and we'll see you in fart, fart pour. Yeah, that was awesome. Fart pour. Part four for the uh, forearms.